Okay. Uh, I have to get my uh, hunger back up. Let's see here. Let me walk over here. I want to add one floor to this. It looks so much steeper downhill than in third person view. All right, we're here. Let's see. Um, let's go with metal. Metal should be a lot easier than plastic because I don't think we have a lot of plastic by default. We didn't have a lot of plastic when we went to the moon. So I wouldn't imagine we have much more than that now. All right. I'm going to build a broker here just because there isn't one around, so I want to do this real quick. Honestly, it, oh, it helps to have multiple brokers throughout your city. Alright. Hmm. Where is it? There it is. Good quality. They don't cost a lot either. I'm not even sure what kind of currency we use. I wonder if it's changeable. Can I make up my own currency? I'm not exactly sure about that. I don't think I can. Alright. Let's 
about time we get in here. Wow, that got quiet real quick, didn't it? This is the design room. I haven't been in here in a long time. Let me make sure I remember exactly how this works. I'll also be switching from the, uh, the, um, guide here and to the game as we will be making a basic spaceship The diagonal lines that you want those as that will make things a lot easier. Whoops. Uh, you have to keep that menu up as long as you, uh, when you first open it up. Or else it'll just turn the space as a viewer of what it would look like outside of the design bureau. Uh, This is the top. Oh wait, shouldn't be that small. Ah, that sounded all staticky for some reason. Where is the delete button? I want to erase what I've done so far. Wow, that makes things a bit s messed up, doesn't it? still here so we're gonna find out how to delete things really quickly I guess ah right, there we go okay actually I think we could still use this probably Maybe. Alright, you can see the basic uh, first floor line there. And, uh... Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, let me move over for a second. There we go. You sort of want to have it directly in the middle. All right. So let's go ahead and 
Wir gehen das. As you can see, uh, as we click on the spots here, they light up a yellow. The yellow coordinates with what type of room it is. All different rooms have different colors. You also see the outline of where the wall would be as well. All right, let's see what room is next. I believe it's the hall, actually. Yeah, it is. Sorry that I keep on going back to the guide real quickly, but... I just want to make sure I don't mess this up. Any sort of mess up can completely screw up your design and make it unusable. Uh, you can't change a design once you save it to a disk. So you really want to make sure that you have it correct when you do it. All right, on to the next rooms. The officer cabin, which is over here on the left. It's the blue room. All right, that one seems to be finished. The, uh, let's see, where is it? State room is next. State room, I believe, is the room where, uh, your guest or guest would stay. I believe it's the only room that doesn't take a, uh, rank in the sh spaceship itself to enter. At least on this basic model. I'll explain that later on when we get to what we have to get to. Alright. This is the crew cabin. As you see all these rooms are pretty small. Barracks is next. It's the uh, darker green color. We're getting pretty close to being done with the basic flooring. The engine is the only real big room left. Uh, vehicle bay. Another small room. This is really primarily used to uh, hold things like motorcycles. You can put a motorcycle in this. I think one actually spawns when you build this inside of here. Which makes it a very simple but effective way to 
travel the land wherever you put your spaceship at, I guess. And this is the hold. It's probably the second biggest room besides the engine. All right, come on. All right, we also have to uh, get something called a fuel cell. You actually need two of these. You'll put one down right here, and then you have to hit that tag, make it go to two, and then put one right here. The tag buttons allow you to have multiples of the fuel cells in one floor. Now for the engine. The engine gets the most space. I guess because it has to run everything. It's also the room that you'll least be going into. At least if you have anybody running the ship with you. It's a very crowded room. There's not much to really do in here, as you really can't see that much. All right. Almost done. And there, we have the basic flooring done. All right. Now we must add things to it, I believe. Yes, quite a bit. Crew doors will only allow uh, people of rank into certain parts of your spaceship. Regular doors will allow anybody in, which the only regular door there really is in this uh, place would be the stateroom, as I mentioned before, as that is a room for a guest or anything else that's going to be staying on your shuttle with you. Yeah, it's right in the middle. That was a odd noise. But whatever. I'll just put the door there. Okay. I believe that covers most of the doors. We also have the big hole, hole doors to do. I did put a door in the wrong place though. 